Hi, my name is Michelle Cunningham. Are you involved in network marketing, direct sales, or multi-level marketing? I want to let you in on a little secret of how I have grown my team from just one to a team of over a thousand using my very simple, crazy, introverted way of doing things because I'm shy by nature. Because I came from a broken home, I come from really humble beginnings, I didn't have a lot of money growing up, didn't have a lot of things, yet I've had a lot of success in multi-level marketing as an introverted shy person. So you're asking, how does a shy person become successful in multi-level marketing? Well, let me share. Okay, so here's how it all started. The first year I was involved in direct sales, they said to me, okay, here's how you're gonna build your business. You're gonna go up to strangers in parking lots or at the grocery store, like buy the apples, and you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, you like apples? I like apples too. Oh my gosh, you should like try my product. I was like, are people doing this? That's horrifying. I'm like, I'm not having these conversations. That's so weird. So I proceeded to tell no one I was involved in direct sales for basically the first year because I was like horrified with the idea of approaching strangers. Have you ever been there? The second year, my leader said to me, okay, here's how you're gonna build your business. You're gonna call people. Because this was 15 years ago and 15 years ago, there was no text message, there was no Facebook. And I was like, oh, okay, so I'm gonna call people. Okay, great. So I sat there and I stared at my phone for that whole year. That's what I did in my second year of being in direct sales. Year number three, my recruiter said, we're gonna go to the mall and we're gonna have a scavenger hunt. We're gonna meet people. And I'm like, okay, okay, yeah. So we go to the mall with a clipboard and we have a scavenger hunt and we walk around and we talk to people. And I kid you not, I met a lady who like loved my company products, was like, no way, you sell for that company? I love that stuff. I, I would love to book a party with you. It was like, like that never happens, right? We set the date right there. She was all excited. All I had to do was go home and call her. And I was too nervous to call her, so I literally didn't call her, okay? So I didn't call this lady. And then the day before the party, I was like, shoot, I probably should call her because like, I'm feeling a little nervous about this. So I called her and she was angry at me because I didn't call her, so she never booked you know, any friends to come. And then she canceled on me. And so then I was like feeling really defeated. So that is literally what I did in my third year of direct sales. Mm -hmm. The whole year, yeah. So in my fourth year of direct sales, the story keeps getting better. I was like, okay, I'm gonna find ideas. I'm gonna go on Google and I'm gonna look up every idea, like, you know, Valentine's Day baskets and Mother's Day things and like anything I can do for different holidays and ideas from all the different people in all of the different companies. And I printed all those ideas and I bought a laminator and I laminated every idea and I put it in a binder and I would read the binder over and over and over and over and over for ideas. And that is what I did in my fourth year of being in direct sales. The whole year. Uh-huh. So in the fifth year, I called up my leader and I was like, dude, I like need to make this work. I'm like frustrated. I really I want to leave my corporate job. I was a pharmaceutical sales rep. I was like, I just really want to make this work. And so she sat me down around her kitchen table and she said, honey, you can do this. You got to book parties and you got to call people and you can do this. And I was like, Okay, and I left there fired up, and I'm like, done, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna call people, I'm gonna talk to strangers, I'm gonna build my business. And I got home, and I stared at the phone for the whole year. For the whole year. Like the entire year. I stared at the phone the whole year. Yeah, uh-huh. So year number six arrives, and I'm like, this is my year. I am gonna crush it in direct sale. You ever felt like that? You're like, this is my year. So this year, the situation happened that my laminator broke, you know, because I had been using it so much to laminate things that I had to go buy a new laminator. So that is what I did in my sixth year. I bought a new laminator. Yeah, that's all I did. Thank you. So does that story give anyone hope? Like literally that is what I did in my first six years, like laid out for you in direct sales. That's what I did for six years. So if you are in any of that or doing any of that, I get it. If you're ignoring your upline or you're not holding parties or you're not approaching strangers or you don't want to talk to humans or you don't want to call anyone or you don't know how to do this and you're annoyed and you don't want to bother your friends and family anymore. You don't want to bother your people that live next door to you. You are just tired of it. <laughs> I've been there. And I fully understand. And as the introvert that I am, I am an introvert by nature. And I'm one of those people, I just want everyone to like me. For me, I was like, I need to make this work. And I finally figured out a way to make this business work. And that is literally what changed my life. And that is how I went from a team of me. Six months later, I had a team of 50. I earned a free car. I got free car insurance. I made over, uh, I can't tell you how much, but I made a lot of money. I, I was able to quit my job, okay? I was able to quit my job and do this full time, which was awesome. So for the last nine years, I have not had a boss. I wake up when I want to. I go on vacation when I want to. I can afford a house cleaner. I can afford a full-time assistant. I can afford a virtual assistant. I can afford all of these things 
that would not have been possible had it not been for direct sales. So I'm passionate, like so passionate about showing other people how to be successful in this industry because I have been on both sides of it and I get it <laughs> and I want to help people. And so if you click below, click learn more, you'll see my system that I put together. That program has changed thousands and thousands of people's lives. And I'm so passionate about hearing the success that people are having. And, and so many people have had such crazy success that I knew that I was onto something here because I, I understand the struggle because I've been on both sides of it. And when you're introverted and you're like, I don't want to annoy any more people, you just want to like make it work. Check it out on the other side. We'll see you over there.